Hey guys, this is Savannah from earthandwater.co. We are exploring the Celestine prophecy and going through insight by insight. And we have landed on insight number seven at, right here in this episode. So if you haven't heard the other ones, go back and listen to them. And if you have heard the other ones, I'm sorry if you're tired of hearing me tell p other people to go back and listen to them. So we'll just jump on right in then. And the seventh insight, I, I really like how it jumps back and forth with the insights. So one insight will tell us about the energetic universe. And then the next insight will explain to us something about the people and the relationships we have and how to navigate those moving forward. And then the next insight will tell us something else about the energetic universe and how to tap into that for ourselves and moving forward. And then the next one will talk about people again and how to navigate the world moving forward with the information that we know now and I just love that how it goes back and forth so that we're not given every bit of all the information about each subject right off the get-go and it breaks it down into a more understandable natural progression of moving forward so anyway since the last insight insight six was about control dramas which deals with ourselves and each other this one is going to come back to the energetic universe and since now we've been reiterating and reiterating about how we've been stealing energy from others and that's been our primary form of gaining energy up until this point and then the fifth insight was like okay so now that we know that we need to don't need to be doing all that now we're getting into how we can use utilize it and um gain energy from better sources that are not people and uh, so the fifth insight was talking about food being the primary source this insight is talking about gaining energy ciphering energy directly from source energy itself this one tells us that we need to be systematic and deliberate about obtaining our energy on a daily basis from the world around us and we do that using our breath and our intention, okay? And our intention is just, it's kind of like a extension of our imagination. So, you know, our imagination's powerful. Our mind is so powerful. It's where everything begins and ends. You know, if you don't think you can, you never will. And it just takes that and runs with it with a bigger outlook on life. So in utilizing the breath, we can tap into this energy around us. And it really is as simple as imagining yourself breathing it in. And imagining, because, okay, so energy, the energetic universe, everything is just light. We covered this, I believe, in Insight 3 when we first started talking about the energetic universe and how nothing is as it seems to be. And, you know, if you're into energy work and vibration and frequency and the matrix, essentially, which if you're here, you probably are, uh, it's kind of like that. It's, um, you know, the universe, energetic universe is consistent of just light fabric, like the fabric of time and space. Think of white shimmery strings that interlace together to make more solid matter it's big y'all and sometimes i feel absolutely insane trying to relay this information to you but it makes sense <laughs> i promise on a physical or a physics type of level it's definitely a theory a working theory that we don't have any way of disproving and every day may seem like it is the truth but it's also exactly what ancients and texts have been trying to relate to us for thousands of years we just couldn't understand it because we didn't have the science to go to back it up but lo and behold this new age of beautiful come togetherness essentially between the science and the spirituality and all of us in between to boot but there are many guided meditations out there that all do this and mention this and not always with the same intention or the same uh, goal in mind but it is all essentially the same thing where you're breathing in the energy around you and allowing it to come into your body and go to all of your cells and light them up and heal them and then you exhale all any kind of tension stress negativity all of that 
It's the same concept across the board, but this insight is asking us to do that often. And to practice that, we'll just go ahead and set the energy, the vibe, and I'll ask you to find a comfortable seated position to relax the muscles of your body. Of course, if you're listening to this driving down the road, please don't close your eyes. But you can attune your vibrations to the emotion of love. And this just means finding love within you and the feeling of it. It usually starts in the heart center and then you can allow it to grow and radiate out to all of the parts of your body into your aura your surrounding area and then from there just notice your surroundings pushing your awareness into your senses and out of your body to serve the surrounding environment find your energetic connection to the greenery around you and then begin taking deep conscious breaths into the belly imagining every inhale that you're bringing in this energy into your lungs you can hold it for four to five seconds allowing it to disperse from your lungs into the rest of your body you can even consciously direct it to a certain point in your body that may need extra healing or love right now for example if you have injured your ankle you can send the energy the light that you breathe in to your ankle and have it heal it specifically but again i said there are many ways to do this and if you explore meditation and spiritual practices and yoga and breathing exercises you will come across a lot of different ways to do this and once you come across them all you'll start understanding that they're pretty much the all they're all the same thing they're all different direct different vehicles to a destination you know and another one that i like to do the one that works for best for me is to imagine that with every inhale i'm magnetizing the energy to me and it's just it's not only coming through the breath but uh, into my aura my aura is magnetizing it to me my skin is magnetizing it to me and it's just soaking in through every point because it it can it it doesn't have to be through the it's not solely a lung nose mouth capacity type of thing it's definitely a whole being type of thing so whatever method works for you best connect with it often especially when you're feeling tired or drained uh, they say that five minutes of conscious intentional meditation is just as good as a full hour of restful sleep and this is kind of why uh, you're breathing in the energy around you and you're tapping into the world that because everything is energy the your energy the ground is energy the building you're in if you're in a building you know everything 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 is energy the device you're listening on this and the sound is waves and and yeah it's it's, all, it's so complex <laughs> but at the same time it's not it's quite simple if you understand it and trying to understand all of the workings is can feel kind of complex but in practice it's quite simple so just give that a try the next time you feel tired or stressed or overwhelmed just give yourself five minutes to just breathe and exist and practice magnetizing this energy as positive healing energizing energy to you and allowing it to radiate from you and through you and it really is associated very strongly with the emotion of love and gratitude and all the good things in the world so if you have a hard time finding the feeling of the energy and the soaking up the energy and all of that then try to focus on emotions of love and gratitude and a lot of times you can start with gratitude if you have a hard time with love because all of us do it's a it, all of us have a hard time with some of these directions so it's easier to break it down and then build upon it and gratitude is probably the easiest way 
to start and some of you are even going to be like well I can't even find anything to be thankful for man and I get you I've been there I felt that I am very prone to depression and have been my whole life and I do much better with it now because I have all of these tools in my toolbox but if you have a hard time finding something to be thankful for be thankful for the ability to breathe be thankful for the fact that the sun came up again, even if it is behind a ton of clouds, it's still warm in the earth, and man, is it nice to not live in an ice age right now, you know? Um, every piece of food, every drink you drink, you can be thankful that you have those, because some people don't. If your heart is pumping, circulating blood throughout your body, you can be thankful that it's doing that without your cues, right? Like, man, is it nice that our body just breathes and pumps blood without us needing to remember to do so? That's, that's awfully nice of it. We can always try and find something around us, and if you can't find something, then just simplify it and simplify it and simplify it until you can get to the bare bones minimum of, like, man, I'm glad I can see this wall in front of me. It, it would suck to not be able to see, you know. There are people out there who cannot. And um, if you're listening to this, you can be like, man, which I mean, I don't know how you would get all this if you weren't listening to it. Um, I don't know. Uh, but <laughs> point of the matter being, we can be thankful that we can hear. That we can really break it down until we can find something. Anyway, moving forward. In the book, this insight puts a great deal of importance on nature and how the beauty in nature can help you connect with this insight and this gaining of energy, which is totally true. And uh, circling back to the emotion, the vibration of love, the prominent color in nature is green. And green is the nature, or sorry, it's the color of life. It's the vibration of life. You know, we look at the heart chakra, the heart chakra color is not pink, it's not red, it's green, because that is the color of life itself, and that is the base vibration of everything, all life in the universe, so really like surrounding yourself with that is great, wearing green is great to tap into all of this. I feel like that in and of itself is more than enough for you to digest at the moment, so I think I'm just going to stop right there, but I am going to mention that you know, all of these insights have an accompanying article with them on the website. And in this particular blog post, I go into depth on how you can use this to tap into your intuition and get your questions asked or answered, sorry, get your questions that you have about life and stuff answered by tapping into your intuition using all of this and how we can use all of it to stay in this flow state if you've ever heard of the flow state it's the optimal state that artists go into or that that writers musicians uh, anytime you find yourself like losing track of time and just flowing through whatever task you're doing you're considered being in the flow state and this is a certain vibrational frequency that our minds are capable of going into and how it relates to consciousness and all of that super cool stuff so if you're interested in that you can find it on the website to the accompany i'll link it below so that you don't have to look very far but yeah i think that's enough for us to cover in this one just because it's a lot to kind of practice in and of itself so you just you work on that and you let me know how it's going and what you notice and if you feel energized after doing it correctly for five minutes and I say correctly because like you have to go into it wanting it to work you know a lot of people will go into it and like half-ass it essentially and then they'll come yell at me about how dumb it is and how it doesn't work but <laughs> you have to you have to really you know step by step it but anyway um Come hang out with us in the Facebook group and let me know what you think. And then here's a few minutes to spend relaxing the shoulders and you know, practicing. Here's a few minutes to practice with some, some music. Namaste.